Hello Aquarius and welcome to your weekly reading. Aquarius, this is a general reading so it will not resonate with every single one of you. So please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. If you are new here, welcome to my channel, Force for the Trees. I appreciate you all being here. If you are returning, hello, welcome, welcome back. Thank you for being here. I appreciate all your likes, shares, and subscribes, all your comments, all the things. So thank you all for the energy and your time because honestly, I know how that is. Time is very, very, very precious. Aquarius, anything you need is listed in the description below. If you'd like to know what beautiful decks of cards I'm using, if you like a personal private reading and wonder how in the world could I book a beautiful personal private reading with this, this wonderful tarot reader, then my website's listed below. So have a look at that. And if you'd like a, um, to know more about astrology, I have listed a link to astro.com. That is what I use. Not all, you know, there's more out there, but that is what I use. So please feel free to check that out. All right. All right. We've got the Ten of Blades. we got the Ace of Coins. What is going on, Aquarius? And we have the Page of Coins. Wow. We've got money, money. Bottom of the deck, we have Seven of Wands. Setting boundaries, defending yourself, defending your territory. Um, for, uh, you know, digging in your heels, not letting people pass. Really, really holding your ground about something. Seven is a number of decisions. So, you could be making a decision about something you're going to be very stubborn and adamant about. You got the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is a card about being done, finished, complete. You're not going to, um, you're not doing this anymore, whatever it is. It can be emotional. It could be, um, you know, something with communication going with people. It could be your thoughts, your ideas. Uh, could, you know, it could be how people um, kind of, you know, play, play in your mind, so to speak, how they uh, mind games. Yes. Thank you. Shoo. Play in your mind. I love the stars in this. Um, you know, you've had enough. You've had enough of whatever it is you're done. Ten is the end of a cycle, beginning of a next. It's a gruesome card, but it really is a fi final finality. You're not going back there. You're not giving another chance. You're not, um, you know, you're just not. And I don't know if you can see how this, this looks like a skull almost to me. You see the eyes and the nose and the mouth and then the outline. That's kind of weird or a face or something. I just noticed that. Um, but you're done. You're complete. It's taken its toll on you. You're drained. You don't have the energy. You know, whatever this was, whatever you ended, whatever had to come to an end, you're done. And, you know, the good news is you don't have to go back there. You have this beautiful ace of coins. You have a new start to finances. You have a new start to maybe a new job. Uh, oh, something opening up, new money coming in, new start to finances. This could be, um, you know, along with the page of coins, because you have, this is, this is a message about money. So you could be, you could have put out resumes. You could have put out some type of, um, you know, been online and been looking for jobs and put out, you know, stuff online and you can hear back the pages, messages, messages coming in about your money, messages coming in about jobs or finances or anything material. And it's, it's the ace of coins coming in like that is almost out of the blue. Um, you could have a job offer. You could have new money. It's a new money. It's not something you're doing now. It's new. Um, this could be the ending of a job. This could be ending of, you know, a situation uh, job-wise. I love how the colors change even with that. How the the swords are kind of gray and, you know, bleak. And then you have kind of vibrant growth cards with the coins. And Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. You know, this is, this is you. This is Gemini Libra Aquarius. This is the air. This is the thoughts, communication. Um, again, it could be, it could, it's an ending. So it could be work, whatever has ended. I don't exactly know, but with the two job cards coming in or the two pentacles, I would say it probably has something to do with your work. And I think with that coming in is you're going to defend it and yourself. 
This is a card of growth. Seven is a card of decisions. You know, you could be making decisions about maybe which job to go. Maybe one is, you know, maybe you get this offer and then this comes in. You're going to get messages. It could be more than one about other jobs maybe you apply for. And it's going to be like, oh my goodness, I don't know which one to do. I don't know where, you know, making decisions. But you're going to stand your ground. Because this that's a card of growth and it's a card of learning and it's a card of passion. So you're going to decide which one you're more passionate about or what what you could bring more to the to the jobs. What what would suit you the best, I guess is what I'm trying to get at. All right. And the seven, the two I get with this card, it's like you want to be first in line. You want to be the first one there. You don't want, it's like you're going to, not literally, but beat other people away because you don't, it's it's like you're going to beat them there, literally. You don't want, um, but you're not going to beat them up if they show up, but you want to be the first. I get that with this card and I never have gotten that before uh, with the seven of wands. Again, decisions. It's like you, when you make your mind up and you know which direction you want to go, you want to be the first one there, maybe for interviews or something like that. Some people have open calls, open interviews, and you want to be the first one in there. Texas keeps coming to mind, and I know it's the star, um, the pinnacle, but it's um, I've never got a Texas vibe off of any card ever. But Texas keeps coming up, so if there's some significance with Texas, the state, or if there's a TV show or something like that, I don't know. Um, but this looks to me like a belt buckle and I know you know a lot of people wear things on belt buckles but that just kind of looks like a brand or a belt buckle and then the prairie and all that so I don't know some type of Texas hit on that all right and your name might be Texas I don't know if it is that's a cool name all right let's pull one more card for you and it just about jumped out itself Wow, we have midnight, the most magical hour of all. So there could be some significance with time, with the timing. Oops, let's not start the card on fire. Um, again, I was getting that with this card, you know, like being the first, being the first. And, and you might be like, I can get there at midnight and stay, you know. Maybe that's the plan. I don't know. The most magical hour of all, you know, it's the bewitching hour. It's the time when both worlds, you know, it's the dusk and the dawn and all that stuff. Let's see what the book says a little bit. I'm not going to read the whole thing. But there could be some significance with time. Let's see. Allow yourself to relax into the benevolent darkness of midnight. You may feel this is your darkest hour. <sighs> right? Your darkest hour. I don't think it can get much darker than that. But know that light will return again. The dawn always follows the darkest night. Know that this is, an import this is important to recognize that we all have darkness within us, just as we have light. And this isn't something to hide from. Right? So embrace it. And I love how these cards, again, they lighten up. It's almost like, you know, the, this turns into, um, you know, dawn. Dawn is coming. The time between tides and even dark moons are traditionally powerful times for magical transformation. Hmm. It says, as soon as the... Um, as soon as a clock strikes midnight on Halloween, it is said that the spirits flow forward through the veil and, in, and, if benevolent, bring positive messages. If not so benevolent, they are mischievous and play tricks at best or worst, cause havoc. So, you know, this is the 24th through the 30th. Halloween is the 31st. So that is why I mentioned that. There can be some significance about midnight on Halloween. Um, there could be some significance about midnight um, time. I still think time, whatever you're planning here, you know, get there early, get there quickly, uh, be the first. And, and again, if you got to get there at midnight, do so, right? 
Interesting reading. Good luck to you, Aquarius. Very, very deep and dark, but um, good reading. Good luck to you all this week. Please take care of yourself and each other. Stay healthy. Um, I was just looking at this card. Because those screws, those flathead screws just really stuck out to me. As opening something up or um, having to work for something to open up. Interesting. All right. Take care of yourself and each other. If you know any other Aquarius is this resonates excuse me, sounds like it resonates with, please feel free to share. And I love this page of coin with the messages because she's barefoot. It's like she really doesn't care as long as she gets her messages through. And I think that's how you feel with whatever situation, whatever job or whatever situation you're looking for. Good luck to you. Please let me know how this resonates. And Aquarius, stay safe and healthy until next week. Bye for now.